I'm Paul Rawson, the director of the University of Maine's Oyster Broodstock Development Program. Since the early 1900s, there have been severe declines in the wild fishery for oysters and other shellfish along the east coast of the United States due to habitat loss, overfishing, and the proliferation of disease. On the other hand, over the past several decades, shellfish aquaculture has proven to be a sustainable industry that can help to reverse declines in the fishery while bringing a healthy, wholesome, and superior product to market. In addition, shellfish aquaculture can help to improve coastal water quality by removing excess nutrients and providing habitat for juvenile fish and invertebrates. Even so, this industry faces several challenges, including need to increase production efficiency and combat loss due to disease in order to remain viable and vital. Recently, the University of Maine's Oyster Broodstock Program has joined with universities in five other states and the East Coast Shellfish Growers Association, headed by Dr. Robert Rowe, to propose a USDA Agriculture Research Service Shellfish Breeding Center. This industry-sponsored center will combine existing research programs in our states together with new ARS scientists to conduct a cost-effective, coordinated, and goal-oriented program in shellfish genetics and breeding and to develop the new technologies that will be necessary for continued selective breeding of oysters into the future. We are requesting support from Congresswoman Pingree's office and the House for a $4.3 million appropriation to fund the Shellfish Breeding Center. The center in turn will provide approximately $300,000 per year through cooperative agreements to the University of Maine, directly supporting the creation of four to five new jobs and facilitating the expansion of existing shellfish research, breeding and evaluation programs at the University of Maine's Darling Marine Center in Walpole. The primary focus of the center will be the development of selectively bred oyster lines with improved growth and disease resistance. These new lines of selectively bred shellfish produced through the center's efforts will also support the expansion of the shellfish culture industry in Maine, thereby increasing employment on shellfish farms, particularly in the first district, which is the center of Maine's shellfish culture industry.